Hi friends, this is Firearm Pop, here with another edition of my Armed Citizen Stories. Once again, this is coming right out of First Freedom Magazine, and we're going to be talking on page 28, which says the Armed Citizen Stories. Anyway, without further ado, and like, as usual, I don't like to pre-read these because it loses some spontaneity, uh, so I may flub a couple of words, but... Uh, uh, we gain spontaneity. So let's get going with that. I think uh, we might have some interesting stories here. A good Samaritan with a concealed carry permit intervened when he saw a dangerous altercation between a shoplifter and a loss prevention officer taking place outside a Home Depot. The 26 year old suspect was confronted by the officers after leaving the store with a drill under his coat. When they attempted to apprehend him, he pulled out a syringe and used it as a weapon. One of the officers was stabbed multiple times in the hand with a contaminated needle. The customer carrying a licensed firearm witnessed the altercation and ordered the suspect to drop the needle and get on the ground. The suspect was later arrested and held on second degree retail fraud and assault with intent to do bodily harm. The officer was treated at a local hospital for the puncture wounds he sustained. And this was in, in uh, Roseville, Michigan. Roseville, Michigan, at the Home Depot. Customers carry concealed. Great. Thank you. Kudos to the, uh, to the customer who uh, prevented somebody from really getting hurt. So let's move on with some other stories here. Kim uh, Lanfear was walking near a, a light rail station one of her regular stops when a 23-year-old man nearby gave her an uneasy feeling. Her instincts were proven right when the man approached her and said, Lady, I've got a gun. Give me your bag. Another woman carrying a licensed firearm was near the station at the time of the incident and witnessed the man threatening to shoot Lemphere. The witness didn't hesitate to pull out her Glock and ordered the suspect to drop his weapon. The suspect then fled the scene but was later arrested and now faces aggravated robbery charges. No shots were fired during the incident, and that happened in Dallas, Texas. Ronald Green, 66, was at home around 9 p.m. watching a basketball game on television when he heard someone trying to get in through the front door. He quickly went to retrieve his revolver. When he returned, a 19-year-old man he did not know had successfully kicked in the door and was standing in the entryway. The intruder attacked Green, punching him in the face. Green then fired his revolver twice, striking the intruder in the chest and hip. His wounds proved fatal. Green sustained no serious injuries during the home invasion, and that was in Omaha, Nebraska. Um, folks, I uh, don't know if you, I can't get it on frame. I carry, even at home. Uh, not taking any chances with a situation like that. Kathy Fears had been staying with Jason Granis and his 14-year-old son after separating from her husband. Her estranged, her estranged, estranged husband arrived at the home uninvited and entered through the unlocked door. He violently grabbed Fears and carried her outside, forcing her into the car. Kathy tried to fight back but was unable to overpower him. The 14-year-old was at home at the time of the incident and witnessed the abduction. 
Fearing for Kathy's life, he reportedly grabbed the handgun that was kept inside the home and waited for Fears' husband to return to the house for her, her, her belongings. He fired multiple shots which, which allowed Kathy to escape and take refuge inside the boy, inside with the boy. When police arrived, they found Fears' husband lying on the ground in, near his car where he had several loaded firearms. He died on the way to the hospital. Police determined that the teenager's actions were justified. That happened in Casper, Wyoming. Dave Niddle was at home watching television when, when his 16-year-old grandson, who had been at home alone next door, came in and frantically explained that two men had just forced their way into the house. The men had allegedly barged into the house, the wrong house, looking for a man they claimed owned them money, owed them money. They took Niddle's grandson's cell phone and kept him restrained while they searched the home. Niddle called the police before confronting the intruders with his 9mm handgun. Niddle said, I didn't do anything any, any other grandfather would have done. After exchanging harsh words with the intruders, Niddle said they fled. One of them was later apprehended and charged with robbery criminal trespass and theft. The second suspect was reportedly still at large. Niddle and his grandson were not harmed. And that happened in Lansford, Pennsylvania. Kenny Guffey was on the telephone with his 84-year-old mother, Christine Guffey, when he heard another voice in the background. Christine had reportedly walked in on a stranger inside her home. Guffey says she listened as a mother asked the stranger if he had a knife and asked if he not hurt her. Guffey, who was driving home from work, hurried to his mother's home as he listened to her struggle with the intruder. The stranger threatened her with a knife and tried to pry the telephone away from her. Guffey at the home, and just in a few minutes, I can just imagine uh, going through your mind, uh, driving home, hearing your mother on the phone, uh, fighting off an attacker. Anyway, Guffey arrived at the home just a few minutes and drew, drew his licensed firearm. The intruder struck Kenny with a shovel, but was, was able to recover from the blow in time to hold the suspect at gunpoint until the police arrived. Guffey said, had I not been a licensed gun carrier, he probably would have killed her. He had a knife and a shovel and wasn't there for an afternoon tea. Amen. Seymour, Tennessee. I was in Seymour, Tennessee. Some interesting stories as usual. Um, people uh, uh, practicing the Second Amendment right, self-defense, uh, and, uh, and lucky. I, again, I, I just can't anticipate uh, driving to my mother's house, listening to her getting accosted on the phone. Uh, anyway, and uh, the Home Depot story hits uh, close to home as well because uh, uh, how often are we in and out of those stores and, uh, and those kind of things can happen at any moment. So be vigilant, my friends. Be ready. I hope you enjoyed these stories. This is Father Ron Pop. Be safe out there and God bless. Bye now.